Now let's add the connecting line for a student registers for a course. I'm going to slide this over and notice how you can just click on drag and drop these wherever you want them. So we need a connecting line between user and section that goes through registers. So I'm just going to capture whatever line is currently there. Notice I can highlight an entity and get where that arrow is and then send it down to connect it. And that one left it blank on the other end. So I'm going to undo this and it just depends on what the last line that you used. So it'll just duplicate the last line and I don't know if that's going to be the right one or not, but I know I want my no connection on the relationship end, right? So that's why I redid it to be there and I want it to go right there. And then I want it to go this way from the relationship to the section. And again, I want no multiplicity on the relationship end. So how, so I'm going to do this one direction at a time. A user can register for how many sections? And that's where I'm going to put the multiplicity down here. How many sections? A user can register for how many sections? So let's just use our inform. Well, first we want to check in the scenario and we find as we read for this scenario, it doesn't specify how many sections a student can register for. And so we are going to have to create this on our own. So we use our informed knowledge. Can a student register for many courses or just one? Well, you and I both know that you can register, a student can register for many. And our two options for many are either one to many or zero to many. So we need to consider, we know they could be registered for one to many. What about zero? Can, can you be a student and be regist and register for zero courses? This would happen uh, not if you take a semester off because you've already registered for courses before that. So you already are above one if you registered for a semester and then the next semester you didn't register. You already have many because the, remember the database keeps the information over time. It isn't just for right now. It's over time. So when would a student have zero registrations or zero sections that they're registered for? This would happen when a student applies for admission and is admitted and the university says, okay, you're admitted as a student even though you, and you haven't registered for a course yet. <clears throat> so we know that that would be possible, right? That you get admitted and you're officially a student before you've registered. So here we see that it will be zero to many. And we just did that by thinking through that relationship and identifying what it would be like in the real world. Now we want to go the other way. A section is registered by how many users, all right? So how many users will be registered in a section? So if we consider that, will there be many users in a section? There will be. So there's going to be many students in a section. So is it going to be one to many or zero to many? And here we have to ask the question about the zero. Is it possible for a section to exist in the database when there are zero students in it? And that does happen. So before registration happens, all the sections are added and they have no students registered for them. So the sections exist in the database with no students. And then as soon as a student registers, it becomes that more. But it can, in fact, start with zero registered for it. So those are the two multiplicities. Now, neither of these were specified in the scenario. So we're going to have to add an assumption for both of these. So let's go down here into our text field and add a couple more. So I'm going to give it a number, number two. And this is going to say that students can register for zero to many courses. So that's the assumption, and then we want to explain it. It is possible for a student to be in the, data, in the system before they register for a section. Okay, so that specifies the zero part of it. And then we also say a student may register for many sections. 
and that specifies the many part of it. All right, so that one is, this one's talking about a student can register for a student, a user can register for how many? So that's this one right here. All right, this is specifying how many sections a student can register for. So that's number two. Okay, the next one is this, a section can have how many users registered. So I'm gonna number this one three, and it's gonna be a section can have zero to many students registered. All right, so now we need to explain both ends of that, the zero. A section can be added before any students are registered. That's the zero part. A section can have many students registered. And that's the many part. So now we've added the connecting line between user and section that goes through registers and we've added the assumptions on both multiplicities. And we need to add our three here. So double click there and put a three and then move it where it fits. And there we've got it completely defined.